Hi Aquarius and welcome to your weekly read. Let's go ahead and take a look. This is going to be focusing in on love. This could be you and another person. So let's take a look at the, the big energy that you need to pay attention to that will be important for Aquarius. I hope you all are doing well. I hope you and our, uh, a lot of you are planning your Thanksgiving, enjoying Thanksgiving, whenever you get this, uh, spending time with family, friends, making memories. Hey, that's what life's all about, right? Ah, definitely. Ooh, I love this card here. So the card that I get is what you want wants you, okay? So keep that in mind. Uh, this is the genuine desires of your heart, uh, you know, are the purpose of your soul. And so uh, maybe that uh, this is about a healing message for you that trust in what you truly want uh, is going to come that wants you, okay? Not the substitutions, not the make-dos, but... You know, what would truly bring a sense of passionate, you know, and, 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 and playful purpose and fulfillment to your life? And you might not know anything more than, hey, you know, I might want to sing or I want to be doing this or I want to write, uh, you know, I, 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 anything of the sort there. OK, maybe you want to paint or whatever that is. Start with what you know. And uh, then move from there and the healing and, and as you do, the healing process kind of takes place. Um, and if you generally, if you just don't know what your heart desires, uh, you will very much enjoy the process of exploring your desires uh, by making a lot of these inquiries about yourself. So ask yourself what truly moves you, Aquarius, uh, and give this a lot of attention right now. It's important in your life right now. OK, don't force a response. Just Allow it to come. Your answers will come in a, a sudden flood or maybe perhaps slowly or perhaps over time. But accept it as it comes through, okay? Give yourself permission to get what it is that you want, okay? Because this is a really good time for you right now, right? So, you know, maybe that uh, if you have people in your life that are shutting you down and suggesting what you want is not possible or that, okay, Aquarius, let know you're aiming a little bit too high. Well, then they need this healing too, okay? Um, maybe you can inspire them by giving yourself permission, you know, to heal and, and naturally open them up to the idea that they could also give themselves permission to know what their unique desires are too. So, you know, whether someone chooses uh, to be inspired by you or to be fearful by your creative powers because they're happening here. It's completely up to them. Okay. So whether you see it or not, Aquarius, this is showing up in your love rate. Maybe there's love that you want. Uh, maybe, or maybe, you know, there's a dream of some sort. Do not give up on this. Uh, your desires already, when this card comes out, this tells me your desire is already on its way. Okay. So get ready. It's closer than you think. And soon you're going to be able to see it, touch it, and feel it, and just ooh, enjoy it, okay? So you will then become inspired you know, as you move forward on the manifestation, you know, based on the true desires of your heart. So what you want to write down below, guys, in your intention, what I want wants me. What I want wants me, all right? And stay in that energy. This is a reduces to a seven. Now, sevens are connections, partnerships, uh, you know, collaborations, overcoming conflict. Uh, this is uh, partnerships, marriage, uh, all of that, relationships. It's the seventh house, okay? So what I want wants me, and I'm open and willing and capable to receive it through unconditional love now. All right. But what I want wants me put that intention out, guys, get it, get it in there. OK, put your two cents in there. It's a way for you to jump into that uh, uh, that energy there. Uh, anything else that comes through that's going to be important for Aquarius? What is it that we get that wants to go along with this? What do we get? What do we get? Honor thyself. Exactly. Exactly. Now, I'm going to read the back of this because this is really interesting. OK, just curious universe says, when was the last time you looked into the mirror and addressed yourself as gorgeous, magnificent, or sublime? Because it matters. Here's looking at you, gorgeous, the universe. P.S. Okay. Hubba hubba counts. I know. Anyway, whatever that, this is what it's saying. You need to honor you. Look in the mirror, guys, and say, hey, gorgeous. Hey, magnificence or some, you know, uh, that's, that's the type of thing you really need to honor yourself. 
something about that is really helpful. So let's go ahead and dive in. Uh, that's the universe cards here. So let's go ahead and dive into the tarot and see what comes out for you here. Okay. All right. So I am going to pull, well, I've used these at the other deck. So I'll just use this card here. Okay. We'll use these and clarify with the star cards. Okay. What's going on for Aquarius? Where's Aquarius at right now? All right. Nice. Nice. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right. And then the other person. All right. Let's take this other person over here. So what I get here is you're letting go of the burdens of feeling left out. All right. It's time to honor yourself. Okay. So this is uh, no longer feeling left out. You're, you're letting go of the burdens that aren't, that don't serve you. Okay. Maybe you've been taking on the burdens of other people. And this is saying is that you no longer need to do that. This is like letting go of that responsibility of the situation. And I get uh, fire energy and I also get uh, earth energy coming through. So, you know, the, this is telling me that this is an opportunity uh, for you to uh, feel free again. Let go of the burden of feeling left out. You need something. You know, I need another card here. Give me another card. Okay. So what do we get? Put an end to it once and for all. Look at this. Another 10 card, the 10 of swords. You see, guys, something is putting to an end and it's this way. It's, it's now you are honoring and valuing yourself and you're pushing the rest out. This, the tennis of swords is a loss or crisis, putting an end to something of the mind. This could be reasoning of the mind, putting an end to the burdens that you carry, uh, you know, here, maybe that you've taken on the passion of others and carrying burdens and, and you are feeling left out. This is time for you to go for what it is that you want. What wants, what you want, wants you. All right. So honoring yourself by letting this go. Two tens, that tells me that is done. You're, you're no longer, you know, feeling left out. This is not you doing that anymore. That is just, it's, it's kind of like not in your vocabulary or not in your presence anymore. That is done. All right. What did we get? Yes. Honoring yourself. Look at this. Exactly. Pouring love into you. And sorry, guys, I've got to uh, note this uh, here. I have to put it that way just for, for YouTube here. But in any, in any event, it's the Ace of Cups. New beginning. This is a, a budding of a new relationship or a new relationship, but not until after that you have poured love onto you. So this is all about, you know, it's a one, the Ace of Cups. So this is initiation of a new beginning, a, a new connection. Uh, this could be a, a, a proposal or marriage. This does indicate that as well. So that does come through. But uh, yeah, that's what I'm getting. Give me anything more for Aquarius, where Aquarius is at right now. You could have a new situation come through here, a new beginning, right? Now, uh, I do get mysticism. So you're being connected to source. So you're connected to your uh, spirit guides in that, and you're at, you're making a decision right now. You're on an impasse. All right. You're on an impasse in terms of the, uh, of making some sort of choice. And uh, this is to let go of the past trickery that has once maybe, you know, perhaps tricked your mind of feeling left out. You're like, oh no, I value myself, right? Again, looking in the mirror and saying, hello, goddess, <laughs> hello, emperor, hello, queen, right? So this is really, you're at an impasse where you're letting go of the trickery of the past and you're connecting with source and then you're getting that, that information to come through here for you. I like seeing this, guys. This is powerful. Uh, anything else for Aquarius? What do we got? Yep, Thunderbolt. Yep, it's some, coming down, three tens, right? So that you had something's coming down, you know, it's in the old way of thinking, the old way of doing, and now you're ready for the possibilities. Now you're ready for the possibilities, okay? After you've been shockingly discovered and you just, it's kind of come to light, you no longer have to cling to the past ways of thinking. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Guys, note your comments below if you were there or you've been there in some sort of way, because that's what I'm getting that's coming through. All right. Um, anything else? Uh, let's take a look from uh, numerology. What do we get? Happy ending. Yeah. What you want wants you. 
Okay, so a happy ending is coming through. Uh, it's a 12 card that reduces to a three. So this is your connection with source is going to give you a lot more confidence in the situation. So keep that in mind, guys, too. Okay, so this could be that you're surrendering with this, you know, to a happy ending. You're surrendering to changing, you're rewriting the chapter. Okay, it's confirmation that this is right around the corner. Because you attract what you are and, and you bring in good fortune when you're happy. So this is all about that, okay? Uh, this is about, uh, I don't know, you're going to be attract, there, there's going to be a positive outcome and, uh, so, you know, a lot sooner when you're joyful, okay? When you're joyful now, not later, but now, okay? And by that's like acting as if you want has already come to pass and it's here with you, just like we talked about, guys, okay? It's coming through again. So I have faith that, I, that, that a happy ending is right around the corner, okay? So that is, it, it, this is really key. You, you've always focused in on logic, all right? But this is something that maybe that this is about dismissing all logic and reason at this moment so you can see beyond the miracles and know that you live in a, in a magical universe. And, um, you know, it, 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 it's spiritual. It's mystical, right? And, and, and it pays to believe and it pays to dream that what you want wants you. Now, the other person on the other side, I do get celebration, union, and a new beginning. Ooh, interesting. You could be dealing with uh, perhaps a fire sign or, uh, you know, this is someone's been awakened in some sort of way. They're on a brand new chapter, very much like you. All right. Anything more for this person? Uh, I get the Knight of Pentacles. Ooh, this is someone motioning forward. This is someone that's coming forward. And this is a person that does a lot of hard work. They're very reliable, patient, and hardworking. Uh, this could be a message coming through. All right. Uh, this is coming through. What is this? Uh, uh, about work. About uh, this is a three of pentacles. So this is about teamwork. And this is also about collaboration, craftsmanship, skill, and quality. This is some emotioning forward, coming forward. You might be offered a job or offered an opportunity to work with someone that and uh, have a new beginning with. Uh, it could be an old employer, or someone from a, a someone, it could be even someone, um, it's someone moving forward. I get Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo energy and fire energy. They're very passionate. They could be a little bit younger. Um, they, they got, they're a visionary. They're a visionary of some sort is what I get. But this is, they want to work. Someone wants to work together with you. Okay. Give me anything more. Ah, wheel of fortune, wheel of fortune. Things are changing. Major expansion, uh, major changing of events. Give me a little bit more on this side. What else do we get? What do we get? They're on a new quest. There, there's a communication of someone taking a different direction. They might connect with you. This could be someone that you're interested in. All right. Maybe you were supposed to work together before and not. Maybe you met this person at work. That could be the case as well. But you're on a mission or some sort of quest. Uh, you know, at least they you know what I'm getting, what they are. And there's some sort of communication. They might come to you. All right. Uh, something about music. Okay. It could be something having to do with music, guys. Interesting. Um, give me, or maybe that's just soothing their soul at the time uh, during obstacles uh, of when they're feeling, you know, conflict and obstacles. It's about sharing the light. There's someone's coming to you and they want to kind of share the light here. Interesting. And they've been listening to their inner voice as of late. Ooh, interesting. Okay, well, uh, let's take a look. Give me more about you on your side to see what else comes through, okay? Uh, let's take a look what else comes through. Seeing a different perspective with the Eight of Swords. Two of uh, Wands. This is about making progress because you now see a different perspective. And if you don't see a different perspective, this is saying you're making progress in on that at this moment to get the clarity that you need. The Ace of Swords. Yes, you're going to be getting the clarity that you need here. There's going to be a new idea, a, 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 you know, a mental clarity that is coming out for you. Powerful, Aquarius. Powerful. Okay. And what else? Now it's kind of like because you've got the clarity, it releases everything else like the, you know, anything that's been bogging you down. And I, for some of you, I get worry and it moves that to playfulness. It's like now you can open yourself up 
and you're in and being connected to source like you're 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 it's connecting with source and i think you you are focusing in on some sort of vision that you want um there was a postponement of the vision previously but i feel that right now it has to do with lovers i get the lovers card gemini energy this is about being playful because now you're connected with source and maybe that uh, love had to be postponed for a moment, all right? Uh, but you're making a major progress because you've come into some sort of awareness at this moment. Ooh, Aquarius, love it. Love it, love it, love it. Give me anything more that comes through for you. What do we get? Yep, you, are, you achieve some sort of expansion that is taking place here. Some sort of expansion that is coming through. Ooh, I love it. So this is telling me, this has to do with like the, the communication. So there could be some sort of expansion in communication. How to create powerful alliances. There's people coming into your life, okay? And this is, maybe you're, you, maybe this is, you're getting wise counsel or having wonderful collaboration with others. Spiritual support. Being guided by someone around you, especially in times of certainty. This can also indicate counseling connections and making progress, okay? So, yeah, this is like, a, this is interesting that, you know, what you want wants you and honor yourself because this is talking about, like, imagine something, Aquarius, that you believe to be impossible for you to achieve, okay? Work with me here for a second. Maybe it's a dream job. Maybe it's more money. And maybe it is a divine relationship. Imagine it and repeat out loud. I know this is possible. And you keep saying it, honey, till you believe it. Okay? <laughs> because it's communication card. So it tells me you need to keep saying this until you believe it. Okay? And when you're ready, let it go. And you know that the desire can be and it already is. And so it is. Right? So keep this in mind, guys. Keep that in your exercise for the next, you know, week here. This is going to really help you, all right? Back over to this other person. Let's take a look a little bit more for them. Anything more coming out for them? What do we got? Uh, balancing things out, new energy. They're, in, they're on to new energy and balancing things out by getting the rest that they need, okay? So I do get uh, earth and air coming through. So the four swords are getting the rest after kind of like... The, after the fire, okay? And now they're focusing on transforming their energy, okay? The queen of wands, transforming energies. Now, there could be a queen of wands around you, but she's very super creative, very beautiful, um, focusing in on transforming the energies. Uh, very, what she sees, she transforms, okay? Into brand new energy. And then I do get the knight of swords coming through. You know, it could be someone coming through. Uh, the knights are all about, you know, coming forward. Now, this knight is like a, it, it's like a fast, a fast talking person. This could be a lifestyle change that this person is going through in their life. They're changing something. Wow. And I get that they're thinking about it with the four of cups and they're manifesting a brand new opportunity. What This is manifestation of new uh, of something new coming through new uh, it's like a a new job promotion investment new income and a, a new beginning for them so they're having some sort of brand new beginning all right what else they're focusing in on their health they're creating change there's been a relationship change with this person there's been a relate they, they could have gotten out of some sort of connection and situation all right what else do i get and now they're following their instincts right now they're following their instincts in terms of moving forward. So this could be that they are uh, they're, they're, they need to let go of something so they can move on. And this is them being able to trust their instincts and their inner guidance. They've gone through some sort of awakening. Okay, uh, they're they're seeing the guidance inside them. And there is a full moon in Gemini. It could be dealing with uh, someone you know that that uh, uh, maybe during the full moon that this comes aloud. This this I mean this comes around where. Uh, they are really following in and heating that even stronger around that moon time. Let me just find out a little bit more on this connection, all right? Give me a little bit more that comes through. What do we get? Uh, ah, what do we get here? Let's take a look and give me two other cards here that comes through here. Okay, so what I get is judgment is being done. There's judgment to be the knight of wands to passionately move forward. 
So in this connection, what the strength and the connection is the opportunity to have the strength to be able to move forward. All right. So you get the judgment card and, and, and passionately moving forward. Give me anything more regarding the strength in this connection coming to some sort of compromise. So Aquarius, you, be, you could be coming to a compromise with someone. There's going to be some sort of growth. All right. Uh, here, there's going to be some sort of growth. All right. And what else do I get? And, and, and based upon morals, values, and beliefs, all right? So it's allowing you both to go in. You both have matured. And in your morals, values, and beliefs, it's almost as if that you both have matured here. Where the connection needs more work is that there's a lot of options, and this is the opportunity. I do get you. I get the star card coming through here. So the star card uh, with opportunities, okay? So this is about getting rid of the veil of illusion, and getting rid of the fogginess and focusing in on the new beginning and the renewal. Focusing in on the new beginning and renewal, getting out of the, uh, the getting out of like the, the seven of cups is, is the veil of imagination or fantasy. So having a renewal now based on morals, values, and beliefs, something a little bit more tangible. And now it's about uh, making a choice. And I do get the king of swords. Wow. I feel like I feel like you might be done with an air sign, okay? Or, you know, vice versa, because this is Aquarius and this is Aquarius. And I do get uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Getting rid of the fantasy and the illusion regarding the situation. And getting being stronger in the head. This is where it needs more work, all right? And uh, what do I see for coming, moving forward? Um, I get uh, the Knight of Cups. Give me a card on the, after that. Wow. This is focusing in on any sort of deception from the past. There's some sort of where it's headed is the Knight of Cups. Someone's coming forward to express love and they're coming in passionately. Give me a card in this Seven of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, because I've got the Knight of Wands and I've got the Knight of Cups. So... Uh, passionately moving forward with an expression of emotion, but give me a card in the seven of uh, swords. Ah, I get the queen of, uh, of cups. So this is being, this is being um, compassionate. This is being very uh, loyal. Uh, this is being intuitive. And this is a focus on deep gratitude. So interesting. Give me one more card. And then what do I get? The queen of pentacles. Guys, just make sure this person's not involved with someone else, okay? Because I get a Queen of Pentacles, and then I get the Queen of Cups. I get two people coming through here, all right? And so I, you're going to know, you're going to know this. Maybe this person wanted to share something with you about that, uh, or maybe if they're taking on all this energy, there was deceit in the past, now they're passionately moving forward, and they are expressing emotion and being in very deep gratitude for where they're at at this moment. They're being very resourceful and they're taking their time and going slow. So that could be the case as well. Give me another card on this. Uh, what else do we get coming through? What else do we get? Parenting. Maybe there was someone, maybe they had, there was a kid with another person or uh, you know, someone's got a child or perhaps parenting, um, uh, it, it, it's kind of something's come to completion. Uh, parenting might have to do with you parenting yourselves or something that came about. Deception was based on parenting. What else do I get? Having greater self-discipline. Having self-discipline. Give me a little bit more coming through here. What do we get? What do we get? Let's send this words. I get destiny. There's some sort of destiny. Like you were meant to come together with this person. They had to clear up something from the past, guys, is what I'm getting. They had to clear something up. And they're on a brand new adventure. They're letting go of the past parenting. And they're moving forward on their destiny. This connection is moving forward on, on destiny. Wow, and it's just the beginning. It's flowering. So, guys, uh, I'm going to leave it there. Note your comments, like, and subscribe. And I'm going to go ahead and do an extended on this one here, okay? Okay. Um, on their side, I get it isn't over between us. I'm coming back for you. Uh, so you just needed time for maturity to take place on you on your side. I need to own up where I fell short in this connection. So I think you both are growing, you know, 
And the connection was really, you know, just, it was complicated. Okay. There was issues that were out of your control here. So I'm going to find out what they haven't told you and what they want most. Uh, and then their next steps with timing. We'll find out what you want most, what you haven't told them and your timing on your side as well. What you hope it to be messages from both sides, a potential outcome with Oracle advice. Um, I will find out what they want long-term from you and what you want long-term in this connection. And then Spirit's advice this week on how to uphold this connection successfully. So if you guys want to join me, click the link in the description box below. If not, guys, I look forward to seeing you next time. Namaste.